What we do is we make large amounts of the protein in the lab and purify it. And then we shine x-rays, very strong x-rays at the protein. And in this way, we can determine the structure of the protein in atomic detail. So what we could see when we, when we determined the structure is we could see that the protein had a tubular shape and it had a long cavity inside it. And this cavity is a place where lipid molecules bind. So lipid molecules are a little bit like oil molecules. They're long and they're called, they're called hydrophobic molecules because they don't like water. So these long hydrophobic molecules could go inside the protein and bind to the protein and that way get away from water. And there are lots of these lipid, different lipid molecules in grasses. So you could imagine that the cow is eating large amounts of grass. It needs to somehow take up these lipid molecules and these lipid molecules would indeed bind to the protein. And then the protein plus the lipid would get transported down into the rumen, the cow's stomach. And so our structure immediately suggested what this protein is doing in saliva um, and gave us clues about its biological function. So lipids are molecules which don't like water. And what they do if they're in large amounts in water is that they'll foam, they'll cause foam. It's just like your detergent in water. If you add detergent to water, you generate foam. And that's what bloat is. Bloat is uh, a, a foaming of the rumen liquids. And our hypothesis is that if, this, if cows have large amounts of this protein, then that, that helps prevent the foaming by binding the lipid molecules away from the water. So the protein is binding very particular lipid molecules. And so we want to know now exactly which lipid molecules the protein is binding. The second discovery that we made is that we collaborated with ag research scientists Graham Atwood at um, Grasslands in Palmerston North. And we could actually take rumen samples, so samples out of the stomach of the cow, and we could see that our protein bound to particular bacteria in the rumen. So now bacteria also are coated in lipids. And so now we have the possibility that not only is the protein carrying lipids to the rumen, it's then also binding to particular bacteria in the rumen. So these are the next questions we want to find answers to about the biological function of this protein.